Phil Sultan here. Thank you so much for tuning in. So with the whole coronavirus thing, though, there's been a lot of ups and downs and all over the place. And I have an astrologer buddy named Building Eyes, Building Eyes Seeds. And um, he's an excellent astrologer, great at what he does. And I can't quote him exactly, but what he was mentioning is that in February, the whole planetary, astrological, whatnot that caused the coronavirus, or that was the major influencing factor for the coronavirus, that is chilling out or stopping or dying down in February of next year, 2021. Then, in, I think in March or April, I can't quite remember, there's a massive change to the way that we do money, finances, that all of that. All of it's drastically changing. So, for those that have you know been walking the stock, stock market a little bit, there is a way to kind of flip this whole coronavirus thing to a positive. There's a lot of businesses that were doing excellent before coronavirus and thrived off of traveling and tourism, all that stuff. They took a huge hit, especially when coronavirus just came out. So, in like February 2020, March 2020. Like, I, I just, there's one stock I've been watching. Uh, and before February, it was like $84 per stock. As soon as February hit, it dropped down to like $20. Uh, and I was able to kind of, you know, invest at that time. Um, and so, I just kind of want to share what I've sort of learned and what I've sort of picked up throughout the year when it comes to... Um, you know, esoterics, uh, tarot, divination, and the investment in the stock market. You know, always do your own research, always follow your own intuition and your own guides and allies and all of that before investment, but it could be hugely beneficial for you if, if you do it the right way. So, I am just going to show you guys a really quick method that I use to kind of really feel out a stock if I really want to throw down some money on it, if I think it's a good idea. You know, I've kind of done my research, I've kind of looked at it a little bit, I've I've looked at how they're doing in the past five years. I've done all that, right? You go through that whole process and you're like, okay, I want to invest. And I think now is the time to invest. And so what you do is just a really quick, simple divination method just to kind of kind of help get the ego out of the way and have it be more spirit-led, more God-led. So what I do personally is I kind of visualize like myself stepping out of my body. I just shrink myself down to like the size of like a quarter and I just put me in the corner somewhere. Just put me over there, right? And then I go ahead and connect to source. I visualize God as like this massive, like enormous, like cosmic light. And I just bring it down my crown, all the way down my spine and out my feet. All the while, me, it's over there on the other side of the room. Then I just ask, I'm like, okay, creator, God, higher self, please show me, is this a wise investment to make at this time? So I'm, I'm, I'm using one hand here to pull the cards, but bear with me. So I just ask, you know, I'm like, of course here, you know, is this a wise stock investment? Is the stock I have in mind wise for me to invest in right now? Right now. So I just kind of pull out a card and Ace of Cups. Okay, Cups is like massive receiving, right? Okay, so, okay, that, that looks good. Let's pull two more. One more card here. We have, ooh, yikes, we have failure. Okay, not what you want to see when it comes to finances. And last card here is swiftness. So what I get from this, it, it's shaky. It's shaky. It's very shaky. Uh, especially with the failure card being in the center of it all. You know, is it a wise investment? At the core of this question is failure. Personally, I would not really invest in it, but it does look positive for the future. I do see with the swiftness card, in regards to their aims and their goals and aspirations on a monetary or communicative level, it looks like this business will be spreading itself out and diversifying, and this could result in a positive shift for them. But overall, it's not that great. So I went ahead and I, I, do, I do a year spread. So if, if you're a client of mine and you come in for a 30-minute insight um, and you just kind of want to know, hey, what's going to be going on for the year? What I do is I do a quarterly insight, so I'll do 12 cards, one card for each month. So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. One card for each month, you know, get a vision or a message for each month that you should know about. Lesson to avoid, something to do, that kind of thing. And so what you can do is you can actually apply that to the stock market and to a specific stock to see, okay, how is the stock doing? What's the stock's biorhythm, so to speak, throughout the entire year? And you're going to see, okay, and this month it's doing really good. So really good means its price is going to go up. And then this month it's doing, like, awful. And so you know the price is going to go down. So you're going to want to invest when it goes down if you see it's going to go up later, right? Or you maneuver around it. So I went ahead and I pulled some cards to kind of look at the stock that I have in mind just to kind of give you guys an idea of, of how I kind of see things. So here we go. One sec.
Again, this is, is very kind of easy stuff when it comes to tarot. Very simple spread. Again, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So again, this kind of this spread, I definitely see the correlation to this as well, um, because you can see here in the beginning, you have the Ace of Cups, the big receiving, and in the beginning of this spread, January. February, March, there's this massive blessing. It looks like in January, the company is going to be getting their their you know their stuff together. Um, they're going to be really making some moves monetarily and financially, getting some getting like the stuff is clicking for them. They're doing good. And then in March, bam, they get this huge financial blessing. Uh, like you know, the the sun is, has a lot of symbolism too, but it, it's just blessings, 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 blessings all around the board. Then in April, they're going to be taking a different shift on the way that they do business and making peace with a death, death and transformation of how they do things, right? This results in a new partnership. You see the leverage two people coming together under one thing, so maybe two sub-companies coming together under one corporation. I'm not sure how exactly that will work out, but it's like two miners under one head. So some kind of merger of some kind, right? This causes great strife, anxiety, and worry in the company, but eventually over in, so this is August, over in September, they start to get things back together again, right? They start making changes into their direction and how they're doing things, but over in December, you get the Tower card. And the Tower card is not something you want to see when it comes to finances. This is a very destructive, transformative uh, energetics to it, you know, very <laughs> chaotic, so to speak. It's very rapid transformation, sometimes quite visceral in its in its manifestations. So, if I was advising a client right now, I would say, hey, you know, th again, it looks like it's going to be good in the beginning. It, it, it looks like there is this positiveness to it. Overall, the message is a failure. Not so great, but there there is some there is some hope for the future for them. So again, I do see the correlation here and here, right? In the beginning, you have this blessing of this of this of this upbringing. They're they're, they're going to be doing good in the beginning of the year, but they start to fall off after this 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 merger here. After they get this partnership going, things just go south for them. I don't know what it looks like for the year after that, but for right now, I would in, I would invest money. Right, I would invest money in the stock here because of this, because it's going to go up. It's inevitable that it's going to go up to a significant degree where it's worth the money, right? Where it's worth the risk. So I would definitely do that. Um, so yeah, that's it for this. So folks, I hope that makes sense to you all. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to put them down in the comments. I love you know talking to you guys, communicating with you, chatting it out, whatever it may be. Uh, I'm really interested to hear your insights, your comments. Um, also, if you guys have any video recommendations, things that you'd like me to cover, um, I'd be happy to go over that and, and see what I can do for you. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Theo Soul of 10. Have a great rest of your day.